May 15th and 16th, I'll have to double check and I think that's the dates, but May 15th and 16th, we are going to have Billy Robinson here in Las Vegas. But to tell you a little bit more about it and the connection and all that kind of stuff and the fun times that we're going to have, I don't think that I'm actually the right person to do that. Actually, I'm going to turn this over uh, to my friend, Neil. Hey, Neil. Hey, what's going on? So, uh, <laughs> you and, uh, and Billy Robinson, huh? Here in Vegas at Extreme Couture. T can you tell us just a little bit about your motives and you know about yourself for people who may not know who you are? Um, well, uh, about myself, um, well, I'm a catch wrestler here and I'm the uh, head coach uh, for Randy Couture and I'm the head grappling coach for the entire gym. And I run a program there. We have a lot of instructors under me and stuff. And we run, uh, we do catch wrestling and uh, you know, we use all types of grappling, but uh, we're a catch wrestling gym, kind of an old school mentality and some of the old school concepts. And you know, the old school is coming around. I think, I think, uh, with the, you know, with no gi grappling, you know, uh, kind of taking over. And um, with MMA, and people are starting to want to skip the steps and, and kind of get to the heart of the order. And uh, I think the old timers had that figured out a long time and, ago. And so, and so, for people who don't know, you, who did you train with? How did you get into catch oh, catch can? Well, I started training um, with some shoot fighting coach up in Cincinnati. He was pretty terrible, and uh, I got better than him pretty quick, which is pretty bad because I was just learning. So I actually moved to LA um, to train with Goku and Gene Bell, and that's where I, I would say my home was. I trained there for a few years and kind of buddied up with Carl Parisian. He was a judo guy, but people don't realize that he was doing basic catch wrestling since he was like eight. So he was an unbelievable grappler, really fast. And my training partners, I'm a big guy. I'm, I walk around like almost 250 and I'm 6'4". All my training partners were small guys, so they were really quick and really brutal. And they were all leg lock practitioners. And it was a uh, go course gym, highest stand is a nightmare if you don't if you don't have balls because they all hurt you. Yeah, and no, I was there for two months, and I ended up with, like, a busted knee. It was like, yeah. <laughs> they're tough. Yeah, my ankle snapped a few times. <laughs> but it was, I learned a lot quick, and uh, it was the perfect environment for me. I liked that old-school mentality, and uh, I wasn't in it to to get chicks. You know, I was in it because I loved <laughs> it. I wanted to learn the best way possible, and, and uh, I didn't want people to, to stroke me and take my money. I wanted people to help me become good, and... Well, and obviously you have if Randy Couture is seeking you out and you're, <laughs> right. you're now his grappling coach and changing up his whole game. Now, let me ask you this. So what was it that made you, um, you know, we're honored that, that you're inviting Scientific Wrestling and, and Billy Robinson out yeah, to your gym. Great, what is it that made you seek us out? You know, why didn't you go, you know, what, uh, anyway, what, what is it that, why are we coming to you? <laughs> well, it's, it's the catch wrestling communities, it's, it seems really small and scattered and, uh, you know, I, I'm, not, I'm not an internet guy. I don't get online and I don't really chat too much. I just kind of focus on my work and that's what I consider my teaching. I consider my work. Like when I'm gone or when I come old, there'll be a formula left behind that I, that I laid out and that I learned from other people. And, and when it came to scientific wrestling, I, I have been referred to it by a, a fighter, Phil Friedman, who's one of my students. And I checked it out. It was the most legitimate, honest website and, and you know, a conglomerate of people that are true fans of catch wrestling that had the right spirit for it. It's, it's not trying to be something different or trying to sell something. It's like, it's trying to honor the memory and trying to keep the history alive. And that's really important to me, um, especially coming out of like the gym where Gene LaBelle was. And I, I got this old timer that I could tell he, he just doesn't, it's like his heart is in the sport and it's mutated and changed, and um, it's hard to get people to listen, you know, especially nowadays, is, you know, um, a lot of people kind of think there's a certain way of doing things, and I don't want to listen to the old school guys and realize that we had a lot of figure it out a long time ago, and that the attitude and way of learning, that's the whole part of it too. It's not just the techniques. It's, you know, people focus too much on the how. There's a lot of guys that know how to, that know how to do stuff, but, it's the, the why and the when that seems to be the absent. When people come train with me, um, that's the first thing they're just amazed by. Even though they may have, they might have to do a, like an arm bar or something like that, very good. The, you know, why it's working at that time period and, and when to use it properly, 
uh, was something that they weren't really aware of. And they start to realize that there's a formula to it. And I think catch wrestling, every time I listen to a good catch wrestling coach talk, I hear concepts. I hear, I hear a lot of things like that that help me learn. Which yeah. is exactly why we called it scientific wrestling. Absolutely. I think that's a, a great way of describing it. I think that's going to come back. I, th- I think with, especially with top level wrestlers getting involved, um, they're very athletic guys, very competitive, very good basics. And, um, you know, they're starting to develop. And you've got someone like Randy Couture that I'm training now uh, full time. And, you know, we have a blast. And I am learning from him on certain stuff, but I'm, I'm teaching him, you know, at first I was just teaching him defense, and, and then I started teaching him some offense, and I was like, we got to figure out what's going to work for you, and we, we came up with that little fighting style, and it's really just the old school, pure form of catch wrestling, wow. and Randy's gotten so good at it and so hungry for it, it's, uh, it's we, have a, we have a blast, like we'll train for three hours straight um, without even looking at the clock, and, and, <laughs> and that's, that's pretty amazing, the guy at his age that... You know, it's honestly, he was like punching the mat when I first started working with him. He'd be so frustrated because I would be showing him techniques and he's like, oh yeah, I did, I did that when I was in high school wrestling. And he, he unlearned it he unlearned to go it. with kind of the jiu-jitsu right. paradigm. Right, because jiu-jitsu was kind of cleaning house at that time because a lot of people know submission wrestling. And, uh, you know, if, if they're winning, you're going to listen to them. And, sure. And, and what happens is he started getting away from his ability to... Wrestle. You know, yeah, the wrestle, to, to do a good ride. When he gets on top of somebody, not to, he wasn't heavy anymore. And, and you know, he, he was... He got a turtle up, and he would reach in and give the guy his hand. Or, he was just, yeah. yeah. He was just making tons of mistakes. And now I got him back in that, ment- that mindset. And, you know, and, when he, and I made him, t- you know, tough guy. If, if I'm, when I'm grappling, uh, you know... Randy, if he doesn't cross face me, I go bananas. Um, but it's like we go really tough, and I, I think I think that's important. You know, it's, it's the difference between you know, being in pain and an injury. And uh, the guys that really want to be good, you know, if you really want to, you want to be a, a champion or a really good uh, grappler or fighter, you got to get used to it. You got to really, you got to get used to the pain and, and, and a rough style of fighting, and that's catch wrestling. I think that's going to wake you up to the real world. Very cool. Well, you know, we, again, are very honored for the invitation, and uh, I know Billy was thrilled to, to hear that you were interested in, in learning yeah. from him. I, I mean, Billy. He's awesome. Yeah, I can't imagine, uh, you know, you, you're already a monster as it is. I can't imagine you with, you know, for those who don't know Billy Robinson, he's the one who, you know, helped Sakuraba with his submission game, right. which cut through all the jiu-jitsu as well, and so we're thrilled. I think it's really going to be a great way to showcase real authentic catches catch can on again another huge stage we've been very very fortunate to have you know real warriors like josh barnett and, you know eric paulson guys who actually step in the ring um and really carry that banner for us but this is just taking it to another level and it's just yeah. it's an honor so i wanted to let I, you I'm, know that i'm honored man i, I can't wait to, to shut up and listen you know because <laughs> billy's you know i think i think gene labelle would be proud to, to know all this is you know that his board's not gonna die. It's not gonna die. Yeah. Um, you know, I got a lot of books coming out this year. We're building up a lot of tough fighters. You know. Yeah, you have a bunch of uh, victory belt books coming out. That'll be like uh, what Borders and Barnes and Noble, yeah, Amazon. Yeah, starting off so this year, I'll have a couple out. And uh, you know, Randy's so behind catch wrestling right now. I don't think people realize how much he wants to get the tournament structure back. He wants to get a team going, and uh, you know, he's gonna be there at the, you know when Billy comes down. Uh, it's going to be Billy's going to be there and Randy's going to be there. I'm going to be there. And you never know, Chael Sonnen is talking about me flying oh, nice. in. You know, we're going to have a, a ton of people there that just want to make the sport better. That's awesome. it. It's hey, not, it's not that, a scheme, you know. You know, that is really exciting, and I hate to cut you off, but uh, we're actually, YouTube only allows us to have 10-minute videos, so uh-huh. we're going to be running over here. But So, again, uh, guys, look, we are going to be at Extreme Couture. I mean, this is going to be like... Like Lollapalooza for freaking catches catch can. I mean, it's gonna be amazing. So you know, Neil is gonna be there, Billy, Randy Couture. It's gonna be amazing, and who knows who else will show up. So be sure to check out scientificwrestling.com. I'm not gonna put up the info right now. There's gonna be limited seating. Hello. So that means if you want to actually be a part of this, this is history. You could say to whatever to your grandkids if you actually do care about this sport that you were there. Uh, when we kind of took it to the next level. So anyway, thanks, guys. And uh, again, check out the website. The dates will be announced very soon.